Hello, and welcome to CodeWare's What's New video for the CodeWare Interface Build 7330. Today, I'm going to go over some of the new features that are available to you in our latest build. Some of the new features that I will be covering today will include the flange feature recognition, the default save locations, as well as new drawing tools to help you create 2D drawings. Let's start off with this model. Here we can see a compressed file in solid model form. I'll quickly export this model by clicking on the 3D export button and saving it as an XML 3D file. The file has been successfully exported, so I'll click OK here. Now I'm going to switch over to Autodesk Inventor. Once the interface is installed, you will see a CodeWare tab in the top left hand corner. We'll start by clicking on the CodeWare tab and clicking the Options button. One of the major updates here is the Flange Feature Recognition option. By enabling this, you allow the interface to apply sketch features to the flange. This in turn will allow you to adjust bolt hole patterns, sizes, or any other physical dimension on the flange. The other update we have here is the default file location. Users can now choose the default folder where they'd like their part files saved. I'll click OK here. Now let's import the model we saw earlier. I'll click on the Import Model button, and I'll need to locate my XML 3D file. So I'll click on the Search tool, and I'll navigate to the folder where I save the XML 3D file. We'll select the XML 3D file and click Open. Then we'll click import. As you can see here the flanges are having their sketches applied and the model has been created. So as we can see here's the model imported into Inventor. Let's quickly review all the properties that we brought over. Right click with your mouse on any part in the part tree or on the model and select eye properties. Click on the Custom tab. Here you'll see all the properties applied to this model. This is key to note because it leads us into our next feature, the Drawings Update. Many of our users have asked us, when will we begin to create drawings? The CodeWare interface will help accomplish this. Let's go over what we can do in Build 7330. I'm going to switch over to a drawing that I had previously saved. This is a drawing template that can be downloaded from the CodeWare Support Center. As you can see, we have view stamp data and design data here. Users can also update these templates with their own title blocks or any other information and save them as their own default template. Currently the information we see here is not populated. This is because we do not currently have a model to reference. Let's bring in the model from Compress. Under the Place Views tab, click on Face. After you select the view you'd like to use, drop it on the drawing.
Now let's take another look at the U stamp in the design data section. Notice now that we have all the information populated. The information you see here comes from the eye properties that I showed you earlier. A couple of other things we can add to this drawing are a nozzle schedule as well as a bill of materials. Let's start with the nozzle schedule. To add this, we're going to click on the code word tab and we're going to click on the drawing option and then select Add Nozzle Schedule. The nozzle schedule will automatically be added to the top of the drawing. Now you can drag this to a different location if you like or expand it. You can also customize the fields here so if there's information you'd like to see added or taken out you can simply edit these tables and remove this data. Next, let's add in a bill of materials. To do this, we're going to use the built-in tools in Inventor. So we're going to click on the Annotate tab, and we're going to select Parts List. We're going to select the assembly that I brought in, and I'm going to list Parts Only, and click OK. Now we're initially going to drag and drop it here and we can resize this table simply just by grabbing it and pulling it over. And as you can see the table has been resized. Now here you can see the identifier as well as the material used and a description of the components as well. Both the bill of materials and the nozzle schedule are customizable. So you can set it up the way you would like or use the default codeware setup. If you're interested in obtaining these templates what you can do is click on the Coder tab, click on Drawing, and select Download Templates. This will take you to our Support Center where you can download the templates. Check back here often as we'll be adding more templates for our users. I'd like to thank you for watching this new features video. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please contact us by emailing sales at codeware.com or by calling 941-927-2670.